Good morning. The mouse and daddy are off again. I slept here. My rucksack is up there. And there's the alberg. And contrary to other assumptions, I actually start at sunrise. I thought I'd probably oversleep a bit, but that didn't happen. Welcome to day 34 on the way of St. James. I start my walk in the small two-house village of Dapena and walk to the village of Hospital. That's 30 kilometers. So totally easy, right? I have a bit of respect for the route today because I felt my feet again yesterday. For the first time in weeks, you could say my feet really hurt. So I hope I can manage it all well today. The first place is an hour away. Hopefully I can get a coffee and a small breakfast there. That would be good. Because I only have muesli bars and water and my walking stick. I hope I can manage that well today. Then it's 30 kilometers tomorrow. And I hope the weather cooperates. The forecast is for rain on Friday. We'll see. I'll keep you up to date and say goodbye for now with a beautiful view of the sunrise. See you on the Camino. See you later. Wir sehen uns auf dem Camino. Bis später. The landscape here in the morning is again very good for banishing my bad mood a little. It's nice to walk here at sunrise and the landscape is varied.
Ich bin im nächsten kleinen Ort. I've arrived in the next small town. I hope the bar is open. Someone else is also hungry here. It looks closed, but I see someone there and there's a light on. I'll go in there now. Oh well, I'm in luck. Wer sagt, uh, Who says there's no more uphill here? Yes, the path to Fistera is very hilly again. But you are always rewarded with a nice view. And I have good company. Linda is here. And I have a nice company with, uh, with Linda from Bem Bemfley. Linda from Bemfley. <laughs> You'll meet great people along the way. You're not alone at all. So now we have to pass this monster and enjoy the panorama. The panoramic view we are enjoying here is truly wonderful. The second day of the tour to Fistera is absolutely beautiful. So much green there and a big blue lake, and it's less than 30 kilometers now. But I have a really nice chat the whole time and enjoy the view. The view really is one of the best on the way here on the second day on the Camino Fistera.
<laughs> no, no, I know. <laughs> Hello kids, I'm on the last section here now. Oh, this is beautiful, a beautiful river. I'll show you in a minute. I've enjoyed this day. Today I'm just going to the hospital village. I hope you're all well, and you had a nice day. I'm your daddy, by the way, and you are my boys. You are the best boys. Have nice dreams. Tomorrow I'll be at the end of the world for you. See From you Oliveira, there. I now have to walk another hour. I think I've rarely arrived later, only once at the beginning in Roncesvalles. Today I chatted a bit, and we also spent a bit of time in the bars drinking beer. And now I'm enjoying the last hour on my own. My two companions are staying here. I've booked a bed in the village called Hospital, and it's safe. I've just checked it out. That's the way, and that's where I'm going now. An hour for me. Penultimate day. Tomorrow I'll be at the finish line. At the end of the world. Incidentally, I love coming to a fork in the road like this and seeing the yellow arrow pointing naturally to the path that leads upwards. But I don't want to complain. I want to enjoy the penultimate day. Then I'm happy to accept a climb like this. Ah, uh, anyway. It's the vorletzte Tag. Dann nehme ich so eine Steigung gerne in Kauf. Und da ich in der letzten Stunde nach Hospital allein unterwegs bin, fühle ich mich wieder stärker verbunden mit diesem Weg. Und I feel more connected to this path. And this section in particular reminds me of the start in the Pyrenees. That was so long ago. But on the other hand, it wasn't that long ago. But I feel like it was last year. Das wäre das letztes Jahr gewesen. Dieser Weg This way changes you. You can find places like this all along the way of St. James, and at many of them I have laid down a heart and left a message for my children. I have become very, very strong on this path, and I want to be the best father for my children, and I want to be with my children every day. I feel a bit reminded here of how it started in the Pyrenees. It's just as quiet here as it was back then in the beginning. Genauso still wie damals. Hey guys, uh, I found this little place and I decided to make a short video because it's already late. I'm already late at the albergue. Uh, I will arrive there in an hour, but they keep a bed for me here. Uh, I have a safe bed for the night. And the bell is calling. I show you the place. Carl, you don't know what it is, but I will. you will know in the future what this bell is all about.
So this place reminds me of my beginning at the Pyrenees. It's really silent here, like it was on the Pyrenees. And I had to walk up the hill again. It was okay. There's water, there's a lake. It's my last day. For, uh, no, tomorrow is my last day. Tomorrow I will be at the end of the world. And I will keep in touch with you. But today I decided, to, I decided because this is so lovely, I will uh, place some stones here for you. I brought them from my home. So which one do you want? I think this one is for Michael because he's he's wise. <laughs> he's, he is wise and he knows a lot of things and yeah, this is for Michael. Place it here. And because Carl, you are a gardener, you get the green the green heart. Place it over here. And Gio. This is like you. This is like your heart. I always glimpse at others. You always have those glimpses at others when you see them. And this is what what makes people happy when they see you. So this is for you. And I place it. Yeah, where do I place it? Next on this side. There. So I think of you guys. Hope you're good. You're doing good. And I will think of you tomorrow when I reach the end of the world. Nice little view. I get my bell back. I hope you can hear it. I hope you can hear it. Take care. <laughs> See you. It's almost as if something inside me doesn't want to finish this pilgrimage. I made so many stops in the last 500 meters. Once I left a little message to my family, but also here to my Camino friends, our brotherhood, I would like to say. And then I made videos. Then my shoe came undone and I had to tie my shoes again. Then I asked myself, do I have my wallet with me? Then I put my rucksack down and looked to see if my wallet was there. And then I even had to pee. It's almost as if my subconscious didn't want to finish this walk. Now I keep walking anyway. Und da musste ich sogar auch noch pullern. Es ist fast so, als wollte mein Unterbewusstsein diesen Weg nicht beenden. Aber jetzt gehe ich trotzdem weiter.
Well, what nice little place have I reached here. Yeah. Looks like I've reached my destination for today. Let's take a look around. This place looks a bit deserted to me. And that there? It looks like someone is delivering a pizza in the wilderness. The rabbit has ordered a margarita pizza. Or was it the eagle owl across the street? Fortunately, I don't have to do much now. Just shower, charge my devices, swap memory cards, eat something, and then go back to sleep. As soon as I set foot in the alberg, a woman came up to me and said, Hey you, we don't have time. Put your things down. Make up your bed. In five minutes, we'll be driving to dinner. And indeed, punctual as clockwork, all the pilgrims present were piled into the back seat of the car and driven to a restaurant. There we had a three-course meal and, once again, good conversations. I even saw some familiar faces again. It was the penultimate evening on the way of St. James. When everyone was already asleep, I sat outside on the terrace for a while and enjoyed being alone. But I'm not alone anymore, I thought. My Camino family had a few new members. And even though no one can take away my pilgrimage experience, I will miss it all very much.
I don't know if it's fate again that I put the video for today next to the water treatment and across from a washer and dryer. Maybe it's symbolic somehow. Is it supposed to express something that I can't yet understand? It will all become clear at some point. This morning I set off from Porto Camino. Da Pena or something like that was the name of the place. I had 30 kilometers to go and I really, really enjoyed the first hour. I was in a bit of a bad mood at first, but then the landscape was so beautiful that I just looked around a lot to enjoy it all. Then at some point, I actually met a lady from England who approached me, beaming with joy, and we had a really long, detailed conversation about all kinds of topics, and I was able to go through all the stages and anecdotes with her that I had been able to experience in these four weeks. And that was a bit of a flashback for me. It was something completely new and exciting for her. She was given this trip as a gift, a short trip from Santiago de Compostela to Finisterra. And for her, it was the first time she had ever hiked for so long in her life. And her feet were already hurting a little. And she wondered the whole time whether she would even make it. And again, it was like a mirror. I saw myself in her as I set off for Saint Jean over a month ago and had these pains myself and these doubts and all these thoughts about my life. And she mirrored that to me with her story. She had a different story, of course, but I saw myself in her and I'm grateful that she approached me in such an open and extroverted way. She said she was looking for contacts. She was in Santiago in a guest house where there didn't seem to be any pilgrim life. And so she is looking for contact on the way on the Camino to have this experience with a Camino family. And at the end of our conversation, she thanked me very, very much. And I was grateful that she showed me once again that we can all be grateful that we can share our story here with others. On the way, a German lady joined us and the three of us walked the Camino, which was a bit different, but not really different. Because for the first time, I took in almost every bar on the way. That was also perfectly fine for me. However, I always had it in the back of my mind that I should still arrive at the Alberg on time. But then I drank a beer, I drank a coffee, I drank an iced tea. At some point, Linda said, are you starting to relax? Sebastian, are you starting to relax now? I can see that, I can see that. You're starting to let things go now. And I said, yes, somehow it's like that. I no longer pay attention to whether I'm at the next hostel and when I'm going to be there and that I want to hike, but I just sat. I rested for a long time, relaxed, and enjoyed the conversation. Yes, and it was very, very nice to walk the Camino with these two ladies today. They then reached their pension in Oliveiroa. I said goodbye and then had the last hour to myself. The landscape was fantastic. Anyone who stops in Santiago and doesn't walk to Fistera is missing out. Walking here for three days is beautiful. The landscape really offers so much. There was a lot of magic and depth, and I felt connected to the path. When I then walked alone, at some point I had the feeling that a large part of me didn't want to end this journey. A large part of me wants to continue, but another, also very large part of me, had the feeling for a long time today that it would be good to end this journey now. Tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow we go to the end of the world and tomorrow this journey ends. And a big part of me has the feeling that it's good that it's over now. And that's why I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And then this evening we sat together again with the group here in the hostel. I met a German from Baden-Württemberg again, with whom I had already met two or three days ago. And then there were some ladies from Belgium and someone from Spain. There was also a pilgrim's menu. We were driven to the restaurant by car. It was a lovely evening. We had a friendly chat, exchanged ideas, and got back to the essence of the Camino. That what everyone who is here feels is that it is about allowing, accepting, experiencing and learning from a different spiritual consciousness. Namely, that giving means having the confidence that what you give will come back to you and that what you need will be provided for you. And that what you take is also there for you and that no one will be annoyed if you take something. And if you give nothing but only take, you get nothing more. These are the universal laws some of you may already know. That is what I have experienced again and again here on this path. The way itself has brought things into balance within me 
I was in a certain state and was missing something, had a need, and in the next moment this need was satisfied in one way or another. And more and more towards the end, I came to realize that it is good to be open, to have an open, wide heart, and to show yourself as you are. Not to pretend, but to show yourself with your strengths and weaknesses, to give what you have to give, and then it happens that exactly what you need comes back, and you realize that when you are open yourself, the world opens up in front of you. I have to set off early tomorrow morning. I have another 25 kilometers to go, but 25 kilometers only to the town of Fistera. It's another four or five kilometers on foot to the end of the world, to the lighthouse. That means I'll set off tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., try to be in Fistera shortly after lunch, and then have enough time to walk a bit further without my luggage. And then, there is still something to sacrifice. You bring something from home that you then sacrifice on the spot, and I don't yet know what it will be. Most people leave their shoes there. But then I would have a problem, because I would have to return in socks. Or there might be a local shoe store that capitalizes on this and sells me new shoes. But I'm not going to hand in my shoes. I need them. Maybe I'll sacrifice the walking stick after all. Maybe it's nonsense to take it back with me. I'll give it some more thought. I'll take my time to think about it, and yes, tomorrow is the last day of my Camino 2023, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to it being over, but I can already tell you that this might not be the last time I see this path. I plan to come back, because I had a certain sadness in me, because I had left my friends behind and thought I would have to walk the path alone. But on the second day, the Camino said, Come on, boy, you know, the Camino provides. The Camino will have you back the moment your Camino family just gets bigger again. Linda from England made my day and showed me, You're not alone. There's always someone there. So, everyone, tomorrow I'll be back from the Camino de Santiago. Then I'll be back here on your screen where you are watching me on YouTube. And I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow at the end of the world. And I would be very happy if you like this, if you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. I would be very happy about that and thank you already now. And thank you above all for accompanying me, for watching, for commenting and for all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Buenas noches.